My, to grab it here again. Um, got some more, some accessories for my Sony A6400, some mini, mini rig stuff. So, what is mini rig stuff? So, let's, let's take a look and dig into it. Here we have the actual camera. Side here. Oh, we can actually have a look at the product. Let's get it unboxed. Actually see. And these some. Um, on cameras on system cameras you have very small amount of mounting points to throw so when you want to take it on the road and you would like to position more stuff on it or you would like to reposition where the um, where the um, microphone sits for example you can't do that because it hasn't got a, there isn't there any cold points to install it on. So this here is a rig that you put on the camera and um, as you see it's got lots of mounting holes on it. So you can be very adventurous as to how uh, you um, connect things to this. And this should be the one for my camera. So let's hope it fit. pause and get okay now I resolve the problem so what has happened is that when you put this on um, then um, it has a screw here and that needs to go where that is now this hanger for the belt so I actually have to take those off so that we can get it in place Maybe back soon Okay, oh, these were not easy to take off, but it's done now. Okay, let's open. Take this, this screw out as far as I understand. There was no instructions, it's just that this should be for this camera. To actually have to get a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't look that bad. I'm going to just tighten that. A support skeleton for different things. So, what do you do now when you have the have the skeleton? Well, of course, you need to be able to put things on it. So, I'm just going to have to take a look at what we have to solve that. Not necessarily going to install all this because. First accessories. an under handle. <coughs> Why not a side handle? I think they actually said okay, the default is this is small rig top handle. Let's see. Top handle with C old shoe 1638. Okay. It goes beyond my pay grade. I'll be different people, or the people that are more into this profession will know exactly what it is. It's probably that it can integrate well. And as you see, even the handle itself has more screw points for putting stuff on. <laughs> so, anyway, we have a handle. And the screw and tools follow with it. So I can position it where one wants it. Said these are very generic, it's up to one's own imagination when one uses them. So I bought this also. So this is a double ended bowl. So I can connect it to the, um, to the 
camera in various ways onto the, onto the support structure and then one can actually attach something else to it. So I'm thinking this will be good for some like yeah, some other accessories like a light or something to put on the camera. But it's good to have already at home. Actually, just I can demo it just quick. Like, for example, if I'm like to uh, really understand this configuration at the top. to probably go and download the instructions of, from their site and see what, what they have plans for this, what kind of configuration. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that would be used for. We'll see, we'll find out when we get the accessories, and we will know. Okay, what else do we have? Some thick stuff here. More stuff. So, this is a small rig cold shoe extension. Yeah, these are They provide the tool and the screws for everything. Aha, this is the cold shoe, side cold shoe. So, okay, what, the, one of the biggest issues is that when you're going to, for example, have a shotgun mic with the cold shoe uh, on it. And you, the only place to put it on the camera is there. But now, with, uh, with this one, I can put it on the side. Or I can put it like that. Or I can put it on the bottom. I can put it wherever on the camera and just slot, the, slot that into there. And then I can position the road mic wherever I want. But that would be very nice to have. Bought some separate cold shoes. Not sure if these were. Mm, okay. No, this is just a generic cold shoe pack. cold shoe just as a, as a unit that you can actually just you know, because it has the tool and the screw so then you can screw it wherever you want to so you can actually set off like uh, extra yeah uh, monitors or lights or audio recorders or whatever onto this onto this segment Very practical, very practical. So anyway, that was the brief um, rundown of um, well, the small rig equipment. As I said, this if you if you look for a small rig and you search you their site, or if you go on Amazon or whatever, you will find lots of different things. So, as I said, this no, and they also they go. Uh, larger up in size 
and they have a, a have this small rig for most common um, system cameras. So you have to buy the actual framework for the right camera. And, um, okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon to get notifications if YouTube doesn't remove them. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, post note. So, let's see. Come on. Ah, there. The battery had run out of my make. Yes, the this of course here. What we were wondering, or I was wondering, what the <laughs> short circuit in the brain. You know, actually, this is the putting into the cold mount, cold shield there. So in there for example and close it up or you can put it into one of these one of these cold shoes so yeah that solves that mystery oh sorry about that uh -huh. don't go yet there's still one more thing that I found I have to show you this. This is really cool. So I said that I used a screwdriver to tighten that. That is so dumb. Because look. Here. I have a screwdriver. Where you can tighten that. And it's magnetic. So you won't lose it. <laughs> cool details.